Say what's happening, you two. Welcome back. We finna do an update on my journey of getting this candy for the kids. I've been working overtime. I've been copping deals. I've been making deals. You already know I gotta make sure it come through for the kid. Before we get into anything, this the new Halloween merch. By the time I'm sure you already seen a photo shoot, I went and did the pre-order out. Cop you on now because I will not be selling them all year long. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. We're gonna move on to something new. I got six other designs I'm really wanting to get into, so we'll see about that. If you want one, email us at unboxingpod or DM me. You know how to get your merch. You know how to get to it. Yeah. Anyhow, before I get into counting this candy, I want to tell a good experience and a bad experience about my Halloween bash. I'm going to explain the bad experience first. No, it ain't got nothing to do with the kids. It ain't got nothing to do with the families or nothing like that. The year before last, I was literally out there with just my brother, my mama had caught the, you know, my sister had caught the same. Her whole family was quarantined. My mama and, you know, everybody in the household was quarantined at that time. My brother had left. I told him, you know, if he would still show up, he said he would come through. Literally, my Halloween had fell apart because literally I didn't have nobody there to be there for me. Because the person I was with was leaving to go trick-or-treating with all due respect. So I was left there with a ton of people that really don't associate with me or care about my purpose, or care about me making this a good thing. Like, looking back, Alejandro was all I had. And, like, I want to shout out to you. Thank you for still showing up, even after all the stuff you had to go through that was negative and nonsense. I really appreciate you. And anybody who's helped me on my journey, even if we ain't cool no more, don't speak no more. Thank you always, because this wasn't about me. And it never been about me. It's been about sharing that love that I was given to give back to the kids. I'm gonna say that was my worst thing. Literally, I was out there trying to dish this all out by myself and make it happen. So, hey, on to the next thing. One of the most memorable moments that was crazy for me. It was when Halloween was on a Sunday and we had a black tarp up in between us, right? So while the kids are getting candy and everything going good, Marie had set it up in the back for me as the devil's birthday. So we had like blood options, blood napkins, blood plates. I had made some meatballs and like this blood sauce and everything, it was spicy. It was one of them great moments that I thought it was a cool thing. Whole family was there, everybody got to celebrate. And on top of that year, everybody came through with the costumes. I seen like six Harley Quinns, they had one teenager, she was retarded with it, I swear to God. Like, she came through and shut it down. I had gave her, like, two extra scoops because she had an original Harley Quinn outfit on, not the little whatever they do now, trying to make it look cool and acceptable, you know, with whatever they got going on. But, like, that original costume with the uh, checkerboard on, like, it was crazy. I seen Cookie Monster that night, a little baby. That was crazy. I know y'all see all this work I got in the back. Before I get to this candy, though, I do want to say thank you to everybody who helped me and support me. Heidi, my best friend, has given me over 1,500 pieces of candy. Jojo and Aaliyah gave me over 200 pieces of candy. Miss Williams from my mama's job, she gave me 112 pieces of candy. Audrey gave me over 600 pieces of candy. And my mama has given me 5,000 pieces of candy, y'all. She really a big supporter for me, but you don't have to help me and you did that out the kindness of your heart. So I do appreciate it. I am thankful. So hey, let's get to breaking these boxes down and lock in. We on the road to 40,000, okay? From bubble wrap to Holly. Yeah, I know she gonna love that. One thing I was about to forget, unboxing all this candy, I will be giving away four gift cards this year. Four $100 gift cards. If you a subscriber, please pull up to get your ticket. I just wanted you to know that before I got the year. We are 3,000 short of 20,000 pieces of candy. We got to start working on the other leg 
time to get that chocolate. I'm going to get that other 3000 later this week. Ain't worried about it. It's time to get to that chocolate, what they love the most. Drop down in the comments what you would want to be putting at it as full-size candy bars. I usually do about five to 600 pieces of full-size candy bars, so drop that in the comments. Let me add this back in there. If you bring a pillowcase, you get an extra candy. I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to give you an extra handful because as a kid, that's what I always did. I always brought a pillowcase, filled it up, went to Walmart, got a new one. Hey, that's me. If you bring a pillowcase, I'm definitely going to give you a double scoop just to let you know about that. But keeping this vision pushing and spreading that love for Hester and sharing our friendship and our bond is always the main goal. So thank you for that. Thank you to everybody who's participating and thank you to everybody who's helping. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. As always, next time you see me, we'll be filming putting everything together, and passing the candy out to them kids. I love you, Heston. Stay tuned in. I'll see y'all next week. Say, before I go, don't forget to cop that Happy Halloween merch. We posting it everywhere. Be locked in. Be part of the team, you heard?